Remember how a few episodes ago we talked about how uh, Versus was uh, got acquired by Triller and all that great stuff. Uh, Versus has now made another move with. Well, I'll just let y'all hear and see it. Swiss and Tim here, and we're back on Peloton with brand new matchups. This month, we have two super producers. And two super great dressers. Who else? It's yours truly. Who you got? So, uh, first off. Second, uh, Peloton and Versus. Nice little collab. Right. So... Makes sense, at least for me. Maybe people were like, why are his verses on this bike? Um, which I should be getting mines next week, hopefully. I don't know. Wow. This is like the longest wait. Shout out What's to that COVID. Been? Four months? Three months? Shout out, shout out to COVID because COVID has really delayed everything in life. Um, but it only makes sense for the simple fact that music and working out normally goes hand in hand, right? And the fact that uh, Swiss and Tim know this, why don't we partner up with the most trending equipment that is happening through this whole pandemic? We started in the pandemic. Uh, Peloton got busy in the pandemic. We might as well do a partnership because this only make sense, right? Um, I'm excited about it. I can't wait to get mines to see what, the, I, that's going to be the first thing I do. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I'm going to find verses. I'm going to see this. And I like how they're saying it, it's going to be a new thing each month, right? So what, what verses has been doing is now they're getting more structured. We see a schedule, right? Uh, 420 is happening. So, of course, we're going to see Meth and Redman. And, yes, I will be talking about that in the next episode. Yes, I will. Um, because they have been improving. I don't know if you saw uh, the Ron Isley and the Earth, Wind, and Fire battle. Did you see that? Did you look at it? It was I too did. old for me. I did. I'm not, not going to lie. You know what had me <laughs> laughing? Uh just Steve Harvey's involvement in it is what kind of got me hooked on. I mean, I like Earth, Wind & Fire. I'm not going to lie. I like the music. I didn't know. I really? do. I do. I don't know mm. about the uh, the others, uh, but I do know Earth, Wind & Fire. I think their music is cool. But I think Steve Harvey's involvement, you know, it kind of threw like a funny twist to it. So yeah. I thought that was, uh, yeah, that was dope. But I, I did. Oh, okay. But I, can't, I didn't know he liked Earth, Wind & Fire. Know your friends better. You know what I mean? Know, know your <laughs> what? Um, but I'm an old soul, man. I'm an old soul. <laughs> but um, the the point I wanted to bring up is they because of this Triller and versus collab, you could clearly see the brand elevating. So the with this one, with the Isley and the Earth, Wind, and Fire one, even the Instagram stream finally upgraded. Had a little frame, it looked HD, the sound was better, right? And of course, when you get on Triller, it the the quality was amazing, right? So they're really getting busy with the experience and just bringing a whole new look to it. Because this was like it had the revolving uh, camera angles and everything like that. It, the quality was just amazing. I think... We're only going to see more from Versus. I think not only are they getting innovative with, you know, partnerships with like a Peloton, but even just from what they're, they've they already built, like the quality can only improve. I'm yeah. like, like we said in past episodes, like I'm really interested to see what happens when the world opens up. Vegas 100%. is going is either already or is going to open up a hundred percent, no mass, no nothing, um, wow. and allow concerts. Wow, wow! That right there is, um, mm hmm, yep. Wow. That's 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 different. That I don't that's know. That's very different. 
Yeah. I don't know how comfy I will be going into a concert just yet, like full blown, because they already have like a festival style ready. I saw wow. Meg Thee Stallion uh, talk about like a two day joint in Vegas that she's on. And I'm like, oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, just I've never been to Vegas outside of like work purposes. So I went okay. for a conference in June, maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but from what I know of Vegas mm -hmm. and you take into consideration the fact that people have been you know, in their homes for over a year. Yeah. That's a, that's a crazy combination to mix. But uh, just as it relates to the concept with Versus and Peloton, very smart. Very but, smart. I, I, but I just want to see, like, because what's crazy, and, and shout out to everybody who's reading this book with me, um, it's the 22 Immutable Laws of Branding, right? So they have this bonus joint that uh, was talking about how to brand on the internet, right? So mm -hmm. they said, if you're creating an internet brand, right, you, cre you have the option of treating the internet as a business or a medium, right? Mm. And what's making Versus so dope is that they're treating the internet as a business and not just a medium, right? Their whole brand is based off the internet. So now that the world is opening up, I'm like, is it a smart move to do like mini concerts and allow people in? And it's a hybrid kind of vibe where we're so used to versus being virtual. If they were to hone in on that with, with Triller and things like, I think I called it Thriller for like three times, but that's okay. Triller and what they doing with Instagram and everything and Peloton, like if they went and made it live, would that hurt or help versus where it is right now? What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to help it. I okay. think it's going to help it because, you know, one of the things that you consider like, so with the collaboration, mm -hmm. they collaborated with a complementing brand or service. It makes sense, right? Like mm -hmm. even on our last live show, we talked about, you know, the, the importance of collaborating with things that are complementing to the business or the service that you provide, right? Yeah. That, that is one of the easiest collabs to make. It's like, oh, you do this, I do this. We actually can do this together because we kind of need each other. So that makes sense. But then the other part of it is we also know that one of the important traits or characteristics of all successful brands and businesses is their ability to adapt with time. Yes. So right now, the fact that versus strictly an online brand and business and they're monetizing everything within this realm, mm -hmm. it makes sense because there isn't the need for outdoor spaces just yet or outdoor events. Mm -hmm. But once outdoor events become the norm, and we don't know when that's gonna happen, but when it does, you know, prayfully we know that it's gonna happen soon. When it does, the concept of online, yes, it'll work, but you got to adapt for, okay, now how do we create a live experience for, for the people who don't mind going to a live arena with people, you know, in, in close proximity? So I do think it's going to help it because it's going to be one of those adjustments that they make to pivot or adjust and adapt, you know, to the times that, okay, now it makes sense to have the live experience for people to enjoy on. So I, I can see it helping, um, but who knows? Who knows? Because I, I, I think of it like, man, imagine the versus battle concept happening live. Like now you're not going to, let's say, uh, this person's concert mm -hmm. and they come up with a guest appearance. No, but it's both of them on stage at the si same time performing their best hits just like they would, you know, on an Instagram live. So, so devil's advocate, right? Because even though I do agree, right? Mm-hmm. Devil's advocate is, how do I word this? So let's get rid of the versus thought real quick. Okay. You are a, uh, a manager, right? And now 
people are allowed to come into the location, but some aren't feeling uh, safe to go. So your meetings is half uh, live and half on Zoom, right? Somebody's going to feel disconnected, right? 100%. So does that help or hurt your meeting if part of your team is feeling disconnected because they don't feel like they're in the room? Yeah. So hmm. it's either you either do a full blown. Um, and I saw Gary V talk about this. Right. Um, he was going off on it. But like you either do a um, a full blown Zoom or a full blown uh, meeting at the, the office. Right. So everybody's in line. Everybody's on the same page. You have the attention. Is that almost the same vibe when it comes to concerts that are going to be possibly uh hybrid when it comes to verses right yeah, yeah, yeah. i think with festivals they were you know they were starting to stream it on title and everything like that and still you were like oh, i wish i was there oh my god mm -hmm. right um and it's not the same energy as if you were there like i went to uh Hot 97 Summer Jam, right? And that was such a great energy. Very tiring, people. Very extremely mm. tiring. But uh, really good experience, energy, all that great stuff. I don't think I would feel the same way if I streamed it, right? A hundred percent, yeah. So when saying things like that, do you still feel the same way? Yeah, well, so I'll, I'll put myself in like uh, an executive position at mm -hmm. uh, Triller or you know Versus. Yes. If I'm if I'm in an executive role there, I wouldn't do both simultaneously. What I would mm -hmm. do is if we're going with a live experience, it's strictly live, and we stream to international viewers, right? But then I would use the content piece of it to roll that out for people who are. Uh, in like in the states at a later date. So if you can't attend live, you're not going to be able to view it unless you're international. But afterward, then you would be able to watch it if you just were like interested, like, man, you know, a, a classic one. Let's, let's just say, because I, I haven't wanted to Jay Z and Kanye is like, right. oh, hold up. You know, I got to see this even if it's not live. Right. So I would roll that out after. But to your point, because yeah, while it's a similar example, for just for it to fit the context, if I'm head of, you know, business development or whatever it is at either one of those places, that's the move that I would be banking on and just testing it because I do think it's going to create kind of like that what you would consider FOMO, not necessarily that that exact emotion, mm -hmm. but just like, man, I do want to see it. Like there's somebody there who's in on it that I'm mm -hmm. not experiencing it. So it makes you want to go and catch it just so you can be involved in the conversation. Versus you can uh, write that check out uh, to Mustafa <laughs> Gonum, Inc., right? Um, and uh, we appreciate you because that was all him. That He gave you that. I'm not even going to say Nikki or Moose. I'm going to say <laughs> Moose. All right? That was Moose that gave you that whole thing. But I just alley-ooped it. You know what I mean? I just alley-ooped it. it. 